After finalizing investment agreement totaling over 800 million ringgit from Japan, this time Malaysia has secured another investment commitment of some 550 million ringgit from South Korean investors, with overall investment amounting reaching a whopping 1.35 billion ringgit in both countries. The trade and investment mission led by International Trade and Industry Minister Dato Darrell Laking for the first time has been deemed a success. Sara Abdullah reports from Seoul, South Korea. On the According to Dato Darrell, Malaysia received the investment commitments from multinational companies involved in the chemical production as well as the electric and electronic sectors. This uh, type of investment will teach also how people to be on a high skill, uh, high skill jobs. It will also create employment besides adding to the liquidity into our market. I am very proud that the investments that we had secured will bring Malaysia a notch up again. He added the trade and investment mission was one of the many measures by the ministry to bring investments into the country and pledged to bring in more, especially from the advanced technology sector this year. Over 140 business meetings were scheduled with potential investors during the two-day mission in Seoul, while its business opportunity seminar was attended by over 300 South Korean delegates. The mission, which kick-started in Tokyo, Japan last week, then proceeded to Osaka before it pulled the curtains down in Seoul yesterday. From our craze over Korean cosmetics and spicy noodles to even K-pop and K-dramas, it is obvious that South Korean brands have a huge influence in Malaysia. And with the ever-fast-developing technology in this country, it explains why our Prime Minister decided to revive the Look East policy, which also includes South Korea in the policies list. Now, after a week, that wraps up our report from the Trade and Investment Mission. I'm Sarah Abdullah, together with my camerawoman, Wee Yoting, signing out now from Seoul, South Korea.